Back, lawmakers say it may be time for new regulations surrounding puppy breeding in Tennessee. This is after yet another family came to WSMV4 Investigates with these concerns surrounding a Robertson County breeder. Investigative reporter Courtney Allen has more on those concerns and what consumers can do in the meantime. A week after the Jackson family brought this puppy home. Introducing Remy Jules. Remy died at the vet. Every time I think about my daughter crying the way she did, and it was any time we would bring her name up. Vet paperwork says Remy had lice and crusting. She was lethargic and not eating. Remy weighed less than a pound, noting, quote, this dog should not have been adopted out at six weeks. The doctor came in, and that's when the news started. He was like, who sold you this puppy? They bought the puppy from Julia Schlar. She owns Homestyle Kennel in Springfield. WSMB4 Investigates told you last month about another family who says they bought a dog from Schlar who tested positive for Parvo shortly after. I swear my heart dropped. I just could not believe this was happening to somebody else. Senator Kerry Roberts, who represents Sklar's district, says breeders who meet certain criteria must be federally licensed through the USDA, but there is no state licensure. Roberts says it may be time to pass legislation that would hold breeders more accountable in Tennessee. Things like this always need to be revisited. So would you consider revisiting it? This breeder is yeah. in your district. Yeah, I think we need to revisit this. We do. Meanwhile, the Jacksons did get a second dog from Sklar after Remy died. That dog also needed treatment for lice. When the Jacksons asked Sklar to help pay for the hundreds of dollars in veterinary bills related to the two animals, they say Sklar stopped responding. I definitely will probably never trust another breeder. We will never go that route again. Schlar provided no comment on either family's claims. Roberts recommends anyone who has issues with a breeder to make a complaint with the Consumer Affairs Division of the Attorney General's Office. The AG's office told us that they have no complaints against Schlar or her business. Courtney Allen, WSMV4.